Hereditary antithrombin, AT deficiency, a condition affecting one out of every two to 3,000 people in this country. Welcome back to our continuing series, Behind the Mystery, Rare and Genetic Diseases. Today's topic focuses on a potentially devastating blood disorder that may cause life-threatening blood clots. Here to discuss and shed some light on this critical subject is Dr. Michael Paytas, a professor in obstetrics and gynecology at Yale University, as well as a co-director of the Women and Children's Center for Blood Disorders and joining us in just a bit later for our up close and personal segment of this discussion, a woman who is coping with AT deficiency right now. So we're going to hear her important story. But first, Doctor, welcome. Danielle, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. You know, we were talking a little bit off camera about how important it is to shed light on these rare and genetic diseases. So what is hereditary AT deficiency? Well, hereditary AT deficiency is a genetic condition, a life-threatening blood disorder, where patients have an increased risk for blood clots, either in the legs or the lung or the brain. And this is especially important for times of surgery and in pregnancy, and especially for delivery. Let's talk a little bit about women who are pregnant, because I actually had a little bit of a blood clot there after the birth mm, of my wow. third child. What do I need to know, or what do women need to know about this condition? Because I think you might think of it and say, oh, it'll go away, or it's not a big deal. You know what I mean? Well, actually, a lot of patients that have this hereditary condition don't really know that they have it. And ah. often, but the tip-off is a history of a, a blood clot, either before pregnancy or in a family history. So if you have that, you need to be thinking about it. And pregnancy itself is a little bit of a higher risk condition for blood clots. So when you add pregnancy plus this disorder, which is an important blood protein that allows clots to be prevented to be formed during, during pregnancy and in other times of life. Okay, so you address the importance of AT deficiency testing for pregnant women, which I think is something that we want to emphasize here, or for those who are facing surgery, let's say, for example, is there a way that a woman can tell that she may have this condition without the testing? I mean, are there any kind of telltale signs right. or indicators? So there is no telltale sign, which none. is that you have to be tested. Now, what's important is that if you've had a history of a blood clot, either yourself or a family member, you need to get tested for this, and it's a simple blood test. Now, patients that have antithrombin deficiency also have some increased risk for pregnancy. For example, for pregnancy loss, for example, mm. and also for a, a high blood pressure condition called preeclampsia, where they can actually have a temporary decrease in antithrombin levels, and that places them at increased risk for having this blood pressure disorder. And we now have, or looking at a treatment for this kind of condition of preeclampsia with uh, a replacement of antithrombin during the pregnancy. You know, I have to tell you, very interesting discussion. I think it's going to shed a lot of light for a lot of women out there who may not know. So stay with us because joining us in just a moment, an AT deficiency patient as the Balancing Act goes up close and personal. So don't go away more after this important timeout. our continuing series behind the mystery rare and genetic diseases today's topic AT deficiency a hereditary condition affecting women joining us this morning Christina Veya a woman dealing with AT deficiency here to share her up close and personal thank you so much for stopping by good to meet you you Christina. too thank you for having me all right so tell our viewers how you first discovered that you had AT deficiency um, I actually went through most of my life having uh, antithrombin deficiency, not knowing I had it. Mm. When I was about 26 or 27 years old, I ended up in the hospital with a blood clot in each lung from a knee injury. Um, at least that's what they chalked it up to. And even at that point, they didn't discover the deficiency until I was pregnant with my first daughter. Mm. And luckily, I was referred to Dr. Paytas, who uh, diagnosed the deficiency. That's so scary, though, your first child, and you're like, what is going on here? I mean, did anybody in your family have a history of this? No. Um, both my parents were tested, and neither of them tested positive for it. So I'm not really sure how I got it. But um, both my daughters, also, there was a 50% chance that they could have it, and my oldest has been tested positive for the deficiency really? as well. And my younger daughter will be tested probably this year. Oh, your youngest daughter, she's here with us this morning, five years old, as adorable. Is she your youngest? She's my oldest, actually. Your oldest, and your youngest yep. is how old? Uh, she'll be two in a week. Oh, they are so yeah. adorable. So <laughs> let you. me ask you about the delivery. How was it? 
Uh, with Molly, my oldest, uh, it was a little rough. We had some complications. She's looking at the doctor. Yeah, it was <laughs> yeah. a little rough. <laughs> well, he was there with me through the whole thing. Right. Um, I did have some complications after the C-section with, um, you know, the blood clotting after mm -hmm. the fact. Oh. But um, we got through it. I was ended up being in the hospital for 11 days. Oh. And like I said, Dr. Paytas was there right till the end, right till the very end. Um, my second delivery, though, was perfect. You know, it's always nice to have that kind of support doctor. So when it comes to helping, I guess, manage or control this type of uh, condition, how is the medical community responding? Well, the great news is now that we have a recombinant protein to treat these patients with this life-threatening condition, you can get antithrombin replacement called Atrin at the time of delivery. And that's right at the time when you can't be on any blood thinners to prevent blood clots. And patients that have a hereditary condition for blood clotting are used to being on an anticoagulant. But at the very moment that you actually need to be off it to, for surgery or pregnancy or delivery, that's when you use the Atrin. And it restores the antithrombin levels and lowers the risk of blood clotting. So the message is we can use this medicine to, as a product to prevent blood clotting right at that critical period. So, you know, having said that, Christina, any closing thoughts? Are you, you know, I'm going to ask this. Do you want to have more children? Um, yeah, the talk is still out there. We haven't made a final decision to not have any more, but, you know, it's a, a talk in progress. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say to other women who may be dealing with this? Um, I would just say don't ever feel discouraged if you're diagnosed with antithrombin deficiency because it's, you know, it might be a little tough, but you can definitely have happy and healthy pregnancies and babies. And we know that is true yes, because you're beautiful. and it's worth it. Yeah. It's all worth it. Your definitely. beautiful daughter, Molly. You mind if I bring her up? No, that's Molly, okay. come on up. We would love that. She's so cute. Her arms are like this. Yeah. Come on up. She Hi, is Molly. adorable. Isn't she cute? Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. And as Molly comes up, doctor, I want to end with you. Any closing thoughts as we look at this beautiful little girl Hi, here? Hi, Molly. <laughs> Hi. She's like, Hi. She's ready to have a conversation yes, with you. Yes. 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 Three things. So if you've had a blood clot or a family member with a blood clot, get tested for antithrombin deficiency. And if you have hereditary antithrombin deficiency, use Atrin at the time of surgery or for pregnancy at delivery. And finally, if you have preeclampsia, stay tuned for a clinical trial coming up to treat preterm preeclampsia called the PRESERVE trial with Atrin. Wonderful, great way to end it. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, Molly. You too. Oh, she's uh, adorable. And in the meantime, if you believe you could be a candidate for AT deficiency, testing, or know a loved one who is, visit atrin.com. That's atrin, A-T-R-Y-N.com. So cute.